Like many of you, I've been plagued by endless alignment issues on my 4th gen 4Runner. It seemed like every trail run managed to knock my alignment out. Happy to share I finally found a fix. Watch this video to see my bulletproof alignment solution using Bison Off-Road Stop Cams, link in the description. You can follow these directions for the 2nd gen Tundra, the 4th and 5th gen 4Runner, and the 2nd and 3rd gen Tacoma since the process is basically the same on all of them. I went with the Bison Off-Road solution over taco tabs mostly due to the ability to simply loosen and speed in the cam to dial in the alignment rather than needing to keep track of the extra taco tabs. Price was a factor too. The first thing to address on the alignment system was my bent alignment tabs. It was at one point completely flattened out so I hammered it back but still it was never quite right. I decided to do it correctly this time. Using a jack to support the control arm directly under the bushing and mount I'm working on, I removed the existing cam bolt. It took some effort to get the front cam bolt sleeve out of the bushing after being in there through years of abuse. Careful not to damage the inside of the bushing if you need to use a punch and hammer. With the original alignment cam bolt out, I used my secret weapon from Bison Off-Road to help line up the outer tab as I mashed it back into place. You want the bolt hole on the cam to line up with each edge of the oval alignment hole in the frame. I was able to correctly reform the outer tab with brute force. After backfilling that sucker with the welder, I knew it could never bend out again. I was unable to get the punch and hammer in the correct position for the inner tab, so I went with the molten lava effect and simply buried the old tab with new metal, aka the welder, then cut a new vertical edge and shaped it into a new tab. Again, using the new cam to ensure correct shape and width between the two tabs. I had to use the molten lava effect on the back tabs of the front drawer driver control arm frame mount, just like on the front. It was the same process, bury the tabs in molten steel, then carefully cut and reshape them into functional alignment tabs. There's a couple ways to install your new stop cams. Some people like to copy their current alignment as close as possible by marking its position on the frame in the original cam, then transfer that mark to the closest edge on the stop cams. But the professional recommendation from Bison Off-Road is to set your front cams to center and the rear cams fully outward. This maximizes your caster and gives the alignment shop the best starting point. Note that many mall crawler and pavement princess alignment shops won't touch your alignment after installing Bison off-road stop cams. So you want to go to an off-road shop who isn't intimidated by superior hardware so they can give you a proper off-road alignment. It's a good idea to coat the sleeves and bolts with grease to prevent the bolts from rusting and seizing in place, which is another common issue that plagues many Forerunner owners, including myself. You might even pull these bolts back out every year or two to apply more grease. I didn't like the way the cam was sticking down below the lower control arm frame mount, so I ended up flipping it 180. You can't really screw this part up, but the sleeves and the larger bolts are for the front lower control arm bushings, and the smaller bolts are for the rear lower control arm bushings. I was able to pull the control arms into place by hand for correct cam bolt placement, but you might want to keep a pry bar handy in case you need more leverage. Thankfully, all the other lower control arm frame mount alignment tabs were still in great shape, so I didn't bother to hit them with a welder. If I ever regret that someday, it'll be another video to share with you. If you don't have to fix bad tabs like I did, you could probably finish this job in one to two hours. When doing the final torque on the bolts, make sure that the vehicle is on the ground with the weight on it. This ensures that the bushings are in the correct position and not preloaded for full droop. I can rest well at camp now after the trail knowing my alignment will live to trail another day and drive home straight. With the new bulletproof alignment system installed, I clean the front end with degreaser and prep for a new video about diagnosing oil leaks. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to help my dreams come true by bringing new content to you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.